Hey guys, Stephanie with Simmerkey here. Now I realize I'm a little bit late with this, but I still wanted to film my reaction for the new Parenthood game pack trailer for you guys. And I've purposefully not been paying too much attention to the news going around or other people's review of the trailer because I kind of want to just be surprised. I'm super excited for this pack. And like normally I want to know every single tiny little thing about the pack before it comes out. But for some reason with this one, just because I have like such high hopes and I'm so excited, I really want it to be a surprise. But I still want to check out the trailer. And let's be honest, I'll probably look into it a little bit more before it actually comes out. But I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys really know about this about me. Um, you probably know that I am more of a builder than a player. And I mean, obviously, there's a reason for that. I love building houses, but there is something else that I really love about The Sims that I don't talk about too much because I don't do it too much, but I do love building families, and toddlers being in The Sims 4 now is one of my favorite things ever. I have had a Let's Play that I've been sitting on for a really long time called The um, Family inheritance, I think. I don't know. I filmed like one episode and then never did anything with it again. When toddlers came out, I quickly added a toddler to that family and I actually haven't played with them yet, but this might be the perfect opportunity to reintroduce them to the channel and do a let's play series for you guys. Or possibly if you prefer, I might just start over with a brand new family. Um, maybe sort of like a legacy type thing without like the commitment because <laughs> I don't like committing to really long let's plays, but you know, just something along the lines about of starting off with one sim, you know, having them fall in love, start their family and build their family from there. So I'll link I'll link the um, family inheritance first introduction video and then also put like a brief description of the family that I'm thinking of possibly starting from scratch. And I'll let you guys help me decide which one to do. But anyways, that's a really long intro. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into the official trailer now. As soon as my alarm stops waking me up, I'm up already. Thank you, alarm. <laughs> and if you're a longtime viewer, uh, thank you so much for being here. And if you're new, again, thank you for being here. We post videos seven days a week, and we also do live streams every Sunday. So there's no shortage of Sims videos here. We play Sims 3 and The Sims 4. So without further ado, let me finally get into the trailer here. And I'm going to play it once all the way through, and then I'm going to go back through and freeze frame it and talk about what I'm thinking. So let's do this. Awesome. Awesome. It looks so good. Like, seriously, I'm so excited. I don't even think I can express how excited I am. It's like, it's one of those things that sort of feels a little bit surreal. And again, that goes back to me having really high hopes for this pack. But I love, I love the family interactions. That is my favorite thing besides building. So I think it's going to be really fun. The new Let's Play, we'll come up with a name. We're, we're going to figure out exactly what we're going to do. Um, whether it's the Montgomery family that I already created or a new one, I'm really excited to just build and grow a family. And uh, see see what this all entails i'm i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited okay so let's go back through frame by frame and then we're done we'll take the parent quiz because i'm curious to see what type of sim parent i will be because i'm only a cat parent so <laughs> my cats are my babies so i'm curious to see what the quiz says but anyways let's go back to the beginning so of course here is our i'm gonna mute it this time the music so you could just hear me i don't know if you heard it very well anyway but 
<laughs> there is a little toddler making a mess, but mom's not mad. She's giving her a hug, so that's really cute. And then, um, obviously, I'm excited about, like, all the build objects and things, so <laughs> I'm not going to talk about those too much because I'm more excited for the gameplay. Um, but it looks like we have two brothers here possibly fighting and... Um, everyone's talked about the acne already, so I won't talk too much about that. It is cool that we can have that, but I am a little bit disappointed that we still can't tell, uh, the difference between the teens and the adults. Uh, that always kind of bothered me a bit. It's mainly the height issue, but I, you know, I guess there's not really a way to fix that. So I'm just going to have to deal with that, but that's okay. Everything else looks so fun though. <laughs> Mom looks angry. Oh my gosh. Uh, the build objects do look amazing, though. I I can't even I can't even talk about those right now. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> so it looks like Dad's interacting with her when she's upset. Now maybe he's reading to her and they're doing some projects together. So that looks really fun. The projects look amazing. There's not really much for the kids to do right now. I feel uh, so <laughs> it'll be nice to have some of these extra objects that they could play with and interact with. I'm really excited about that. Everything in the kitchen looks so good. I love building very traditional homey family homes, so that's good. Um, the burping is funny. Sorry about the noise. My cat's here today, and she's making a mess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the family interactions look great at the dinner table for the burping. That's so cute. You can shape your Sims childhood, which is amazing. Um, of course, personalize your household, which is nice. And new family activities, which is what I'm the most, most, most excited about. So let's go ahead and take the parent quiz. Actually, I figure I'll just show you my little Lexi here. She's visiting today. Look at her. She's, uh, she's shaved, but she's still really cute. I don't know how well you can see her. <laughs> this is my fur baby. This is my fur baby. Anyways, what I was saying is I'm really extra extracted? Distracted by animals. Yeah. I'm, I'm always distracted by animals in real life and in The Sims. So anyways, quiz time, quiz time. Let's do this. <laughs> what kind of parent will you be? Take the quiz. All right. So what is the most offensive behavior? Making a mask, biting, saying bad words, or shoving? Um, I'm torn between biting and shoving because obviously I think physically attacking someone is a uh, probably the worst. I mean, making a mess is like at the very bottom of the list. Saying bad words is also pretty much at the bottom of the list. I mean, let's be honest, I wouldn't be super mad if my child said a bad word. Um, but biting and shoving is really bad. Um, I feel like biting could possibly be more like an instinctual thing, whereas shoving, oh, I don't know, that's a tough one. I'm going to go with shoving. I just, I feel like kids sometimes bite, um, but sho that shouldn't be tolerated, but shoving absolutely should also never be tolerated. Uh, next, which school project would be most fun to build? A robot, a rocket, Tesla coil, or a bridge? Um, I think in The Sims specifically, uh, I would probably say robot. We already kind of have a rocket. I mean, we have a rocket. It's not for kids. Tesla coil, I don't know exactly what that would involve. And a bridge would be fun, but I personally think a robot might be a little bit more interactive. Number three, what kind of sandwich would you pack for lunch? Peanut butter and jelly, tuna fish, leftovers, or veggies and hummus? Um, this is also a tough one. I, I'm kind of leaning towards veggies and hummus, but if my child's, like, not a vegetarian, they would probably want some sort of, like, meat protein. Um, leftovers is very vague, which is usually what I do. Like, I usually bring leftovers to eat, even though I'm not a big leftover fan. Uh, definitely not tuna fish, because I don't like fish. If that was, like, chicken salad or something like that, I would probably pick that. And peanut butter jelly is good, but, you know, that's something you'd get sick of pretty quickly. So I would say, I'd say leftovers. I mean, just make sure it's something good and good for them. And, um, yeah, that just, it gives you more variety. <laughs> Four, where would you volunteer with your family? A soup kitchen, a nursing home, beach cleanup, or bake sale? Oh, all of those sound great. Um, bake sale would be good, but honestly, I, I suck at baking. Beach cleanup sounds amazing, but that would probably be really, like really hot and sticky and gross. Um, nursing home. Actually, I used to volunteer at a nursing home when I was in school, and that was a lot of fun. I really liked that. And soup kitchen would also be good because you'd be, you know, helping people eat that wouldn't otherwise eat. Um, 
I'm torn between soup kitchen and nursing home. Since I've actually volunteered in a nursing home before, I would try something new and take them to a soup kitchen to really have them appreciate, you know, uh, being able to have food on the table every day. Not everyone is that fortunate. So I think that would give them a good, a good um, grasp on, on life values. Does that make sense? I don't know. Soup kitchen it is. Okay. <laughs> Number five, what's your favorite morning activity? Journaling. I don't journal at all. Watching cartoons. Probably, probably. That's what I used to do every morning. I mean, technically, I kind of watch YouTube every morning when I wake up. So probably that one. Um, sleeping in. I actually don't really get an opportunity to sleep in, although I would love to. And exercising. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I don't exercise. I know that's horrible. That is horrible. You should exercise, but I don't. Um, so I'm going to go with watching cartoons. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You got the relaxed parent. I, uh, I probably could have guessed that. I don't know what the options were, but I probably could have guessed that. Parenting is like watching a film. You just sit back and enjoy. While you're there to provide the necessities, you believe children will learn about life by experiencing it for themselves. What a chill concept. Yeah, that's cool. That's totally true. I love that. I love that so much. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you I hope you enjoyed. My thoughts are a little bit all over the place, so I hope I kind of translated what I really wanted to say. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. So excited for this pack. Let me know which Let's Play you want me to start. The Montgomery family, which again, I'll link in the description, or just a brand new fresh family that we could just start, start from one, one sim and just grow from there. I'm kind of leaning towards option number two, but I'll let you guys help me decide. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. <laughs> Wait, don't forget to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Videos every day, live streams every Sunday. Day. See you later. <laughs> oh, and my cat Lexi, she says bye. She says bye. She says meow. Meow. Bye. <laughs> she doesn't even meow. She like she's she's a Maine Coon, so she chirps. It's more like a meow, 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 meow. I was hoping she would respond, but you know, she's over it. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> bye.